Hey guys, it's your boy Tyler here and welcome back to another episode of Dishes and Fishes where I show you how to cook and set hooks. In today's episode, I wanna show you how to make something that I always keep in my fridge because you can literally put it on anything and it will be delicious. Calabrian pepper relish. This relish is awesome. I always have it in my fridge. It gives any dish a peppery, vinegary, mildly hot flavor. And I'm telling you, like I said before, it goes good on anything. This is not my recipe, unfortunately. My friend John showed me this recipe and it was just so good that I had to share it with you guys. So let's start out with what you're gonna need. To make this relish, you're gonna start out with about two and a half pounds of peppers. You can use whatever type of peppers that you want, but you want a nice variety to get a more depth of flavor and also color. You want this to be a nice colorful relish and not just green or red. All the ingredients in this recipe that I'm about to show you, I got from The Farm in Woodbury, Connecticut. If you can still get these peppers locally, definitely do that because it takes this relish to another level. Kind of the cornerstone pepper of this recipe is the hot cherry pepper. I'm kind of a baby when it comes to spicy things, so I only use about six or seven of these peppers per batch of relish, but the flavor that you get from hot cherry peppers, you can't really get from other peppers. So in addition to my six or seven hot cherry peppers, I also have two cubanelle peppers, two poblano peppers, two bell peppers, one yellow and one green, and two of these Hungarian round peppers, I think is what they're called. They are incredibly sweet and pretty much a more delicious red bell pepper. Really, really good. In addition to those peppers, you're also gonna need one small eggplant, half of a white onion, five to eight cloves of garlic, depending on how Italian you are, four cremini mushrooms, as well as some vinegar, olive oil, and fennel seeds. Also, as with any recipe on this channel, you're gonna need salt and pepper to taste. So let's get started with cleaning our peppers. To clean peppers, all you wanna do is slice them down the middle, and then remove the seeds and ribs and stem by hand. Try not to waste a lot of pepper. Once you've gone through all your peppers, set them aside, and let's move on to our other ingredients. So first we're gonna rough chop our onion, peel our garlic cloves, and then peel and rough chop our eggplant. and then quarter the mushrooms. Then you're gonna put your rough chopped onion, peeled garlic, rough chopped eggplant, and quartered mushrooms into your food processor. Now we wanna pulse this onion, eggplant, mushroom mixture in the food processor until it's kind of like a little bit smaller than a small dice consistency. Just the key thing here is that you don't want to mash it up. You don't want it to be like a paste, so you wanna still have some chunks in there. So pulse it until it's a relish type consistency, I guess. Then we're gonna actually sweat that down in a saute pan with some olive oil. Now we're gonna do the same thing to our two and a half pounds of peppers in the food processor. Again, just kind of pulse it until it's that relish consistency. Don't mash it up. It's probably better to go bigger than smaller in this case just because you want a little bit of texture in this relish. Once your aromatics are translucent and smelling nice, dump this pepper mixture in and just lightly soften the peppers up a little bit. You don't wanna overcook these whatsoever. Once you saute the peppers for a minute or two and they're still a little bit crunchy and al dente, you're gonna take your pan off the heat. You're gonna add one fourth cup of vinegar and a teaspoon of crushed fennel seeds I'm just gonna use a chef's knife to chop mine up. If you have a mortar and pestle, you can grind them up, a spice grinder even. Once that mixture is off the heat, taste it, season it with salt and pepper to your liking. If it doesn't quite have enough liquid in it, add olive oil till it gets the right consistency. Once you're happy with the flavor and the consistency, set it aside to cool before you jar it up. As I said previously, this relish is good on anything. You can eat it very simply with a cracker if you want. I love it on Italian sandwiches. 
I eat it with pork chops, I eat it with steak, but one of my favorite ways to eat it is on salmon. I like to rub the salmon with pesto first and then spread this relish on it. It is banging. So there you go guys, one of my favorite things to make and keep in my fridge at all times. So try it out yourself guys, let me know what you eat this relish on, I'm sure it'll be banging, and thanks for watching.